We want to take a quick moment here now to honor a man who has been a giant in our region, Mike Ziegler of Pride Industries. Mike passed away on May the 12th of 2020, leaving behind his family, his friends, and a legacy that continues to impact the community today. Please welcome Judd Briggs of Tyker to share a few thoughts on his colleague and friend, Mike Ziegler. I think we can all agree that Mike Ziegler was a giant of the region and beyond. It is a pleasure for me to be here and offer a few comments about Mike. Mike was my dearest friend. We met approximately 30 years ago, actually, when I was delivering a little grant check from the Tykert Foundation up to Pride Industries. We had one of those kind of magical interactions that you occasionally have with people where you just bond. And at some level, we were kindred spirits and frankly, became close right then. Um, I joined Pride's board probably 25 years ago and kind of the, the wild ride began. And it was Pride as, as probably most of you know, is just a miracle. I mean, when Pride Industries was founded in the basement of a church by parents of children with disabilities, Mike came along probably 15 years into their existence. They were a wood shop employing, I don't know, maybe two dozen people, uh, doing less than $200,000 in business. Over the course of the next 25 years, Pride grew to be the largest employer of people with disabilities in America. And Mike Ziegler was absolutely the face and the heart and soul of that amazing organization. And I count myself really honored to be, to be called his friend. Um, it's delightful that the, the chamber has decided to create this award honoring an extraordinary person. And uh, I have so many wonderful memories of Mike. Um, you know, as you all know, just a total rascal. I, I think that the picture of Mike that probably sums him up the best to me is the annual Pride picnic when Mike is dressed in costume. You know, Mike had a giant costume closet. That was one of his favorite things to do. And he was running around at the picnic as a giant bumblebee or Uncle Sam or Superman and, uh, and, and entertaining, entertaining the employees of Pride. And uh, that is really probably my most wonderful picture of Mike. He, he, there was nothing that delighted him more than giving a tour of the Pride facility. And frankly, I think there's nothing that delighted the employees of Pride more than seeing Mike in action. Mike knew everybody by name, knew their history. There was always a backstory, and uh, and just an extraordinary guy. I, a, another fun memory is whenever a new board member would come on Pride's board, a business-focused person, they would typically look at the financials and say, "Geez, we need to build a reserve." And you'd very quickly learn reserve wasn't even in Mike Ziegler's thinking. If Pride had surplus, it was pumped immediately back into creating more jobs with people with, for, for people with disabilities. Is uh, he delighted on living on the edge, and uh, and that entrepreneurial spirit is reflected throughout the organization even today. It's a special thing to be here today, and to be sharing a couple of comments, a couple of thoughts and remembrances about Mike and uh, my dearest friend and, and friend to, to so many of us in this room and in this region and beyond. Probably the best thing we can do at this point is hear from Mike himself. But there truly doesn't exist anything like what we do in this country. There are approximately 27 million people with disabilities in America who can work and who want a job. They have a 70% unemployment rate. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, morning Ellen. We take people that our society does not know how to employ, and we give them these great jobs. And what we all know who work at Pride, people with disabilities can accomplish anything. Pride is number one. Right on, right on. Right on. Well, the favorite part of my job is interacting with people who work at Pride. You don't like chocolate shakes? The longer I'm at Pride, 
the less I think I understand or any of us understands about the power of a job for somebody who typically is not going to get a job. It is fun, huh? Their life changes. And that's pretty powerful stuff. Charlie's 14 year anniversary. He's worked at Pride for 14 years. It happens on Sunday. The most important number at Pride in my mind is how many people with disabilities we employ. Go get them, go get them. Thank you very much. Thank you, have a great day. Interesting enough, I come to work with the same wide-eyed enthusiasm I came with the first day I ever came here. And you know what? It is because I come to work at a company that has a power of purpose.